It's Wednesday morning, and this morning we look at Jesus' letter to the church in Smyrna. The words of the first and the last who died and came to life. I know your tribulation and your poverty, but you are rich. And the slander of those who say that they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested. And for 10 days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The one who conquers will not be hurt by the second death. Jesus has a strong rebuke for five of the seven churches here in Revelations chapter two and three. Smyrna is one of the two that he does not rebuke. To this poor and oppressed church, Jesus reminds them they have a living Savior. He's conquered death, and as their living Savior, he reminds them, I know what you're going through. There are times when endurance may be the only possible form of worship that you can offer. I love that the church did not make a show of its poverty. It was Jesus who pointed it out. And then he follows up with, but really you're rich. These words speak volumes for the genuineness of the life and the power of faith in this church. The poor and the suffering church was also a persecuted church. The persecution of this church is from the evil one, and it's all been foreseen by Jesus. There's not one trial that shall happen to you that is unforeseen and unprovided for by Jesus. Satan schemes, but he can never outwit Jesus. And Jesus will draw the proverbial line in the sand. 10 days, I take this to mean hang in there. In a little while, it'll all be over. And over does not mean death. Over means life. Jesus says, I will give you the crown of life. The injustice that you're suffering will end and life will begin. Life, life that lives on and on and is ever more to be. Glory that will never lose its splendor. Righteousness that shall be spotless in its perfection. Life where age is no longer limiting. There is a life beyond this present life. There's also a death beyond the present death. The person who's born twice can only die once, but the person who's only born once will die twice. If the first death were extinction, the second death would be impossible. And if the first death had no notion of extinction in it, so neither may the second. Better, far better, a life of suffering here and with Christ than to have all the possible luxuries this world could offer and have no life in Christ. All churches are imperfect servants at the best, but we can be faithful. Christian, your lot in life may not be one of ease, but you can be faithful. Daily faithfulness in trials amid the incessant temptations to compromise is what the Master asks for from us. Be faithful unto death. Lord, thank you for the inspiring courage of a persecuted church in the face of great trial. Help me to hold on to your truth in spite of the godless culture I live in. Keep me faithful to you, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.